dynamic data in here right now. Everything's hard coded. Um, it'd be more interesting if we had a variable or something that showed up on the page. So to do that, we need to add state to our component. So the state of a component is the data that is internal to that component. Props are data that comes from the outside, from outside that component. But the data that lives entirely within that component, you put in state. So if we need state in a component, we initialize that in the constructor. So no problem, we'll just add a constructor. We know how to do that. And inside constructor, one thing you absolutely must do is call super. So you may be familiar with this from other languages. That means it's going to call the constructor from the parent class, the parent class being react.component. And while we've said that, strictly speaking, this is prototypal inheritance and not class-based inheritance, um, as far as this kind of stuff is concerned, they operate the same. We still call the parent's constructor by calling super inside here. Because the React component constructor does some important stuff. Then we just initialize this.state. Set it to some object. Have as many properties in there as you want. We'll just make one called name. And we'll set it to Noah. I like my trailing commas. So then if I want that piece of data to show up in the middle of my JSX, no problem. In the middle of JSX, you can always just throw JavaScript expressions inside curly braces. So just throw some curly braces in there, say this.state.name, and it went from hello world to hello Noah. Piece of cake. Yeah. No, you would just say this dot state dot something else. So add another property under state. Like you can't, you can't have state is one object. Right. But you can but but inside state you could have objects. So you know you could still have this dot state dot meals, which is an object with lunch and so on. You can do that. So you can nest whatever you want in there, but it's all in a single state object. Yes. Yep. So, but you could always like make a local variable down here too. You could say const meals equals this dot state dot meals, and then say meals dot lunch, just to make it a little easier on yourself. But yep, it's a single state object. 